mysterious quakes worldwide might be linked to the birth of submarine volcano. Now, there's something else that I have just noticed having to do with how South America split from Africa, the Walvis hotspot. The volcanic rocks deposited in modern South America and Africa as the continents were thrust apart. The current tectonic situation with the submarine Mid-Atlantic Ridge and Tristan da Cunha as the active end of the mainly submarine and extinct volcano Walvis Ridge. And we have to remember that the volcanic rocks found in uh, northeastern United States, in Maine, for example, are the same as uh, have, what have been found in uh, the, on the coast of uh, Ireland and England, meaning that there was a volcano that was in between them, perhaps, that also caused that splitting of the tectonic plate. Very interesting, but that warrants a different video altogether. Right now we're, con we're concentrated on the mysterious quakes worldwide linked to the birth of some submarine volcano. The birth of a, this is on Sputnik News, the birth of a unique submarine volcano near a French island located between Africa and Madagascar could shed light on a puzzle that's baffled scientists since last year. In 2018, seismic sensors detected strange low-frequency ripples thousands of kilometers away from the discovered developing volcano. The baby submarine volcano, situated 50 kilometers away from the tiny French island of Mayotte, might be linked to a series of mysterious earthquakes. The results of a French scientific mission suggested, according to National Geographic, this mission, coordinated by France's National Center for Scientific Research, National Center, as CNRS, was asked with clarifying the origin of the unexpected seismic activity that has shaken the topical island wedged between Africa and Madagascar since 2018. While the islet has witnessed numerous tremors ranging from minor rumbles to a 5.8 magnitude earthquake, the largest to occur in the region in the past year, strange low-frequency ripples were detected by sensors as far as 17,000 kilometers away from Mayotte. One earthquake enthusiast on Twitter, Matar Ikipax, noticed that the unexpected activity on the U.S. Geological Survey's real-time seismograph, challenging scientists around the world to solve the mystery as he tweeted about his observations in November last year. Remember that worldwide earthquake that we had November 11th? That shook for about the whole world for about 20 minutes? It was again, the, again, the earth rang like a bell worldwide. Now, I have to also remind you that these are uh, earthquakes that have been recently found, and th it's not a good sign because it could be an impending uh, huge earthquake. One such uh, earthquake was found in uh, Turkey at the Anatolia Fault last year, and they said one, it was only one geologist that found this and there was a very low frequency earthquake and that earthquake lasted 50 days 50 days and he brought it to attend the attention of his colleagues and that has uh, now been classified as a new type of an earthquake that can take place and uh, the anatolia fault of turkey is a very dangerous fault it's a subduction zone between the African, European, and the Asian plates. So there's a lot of stress going there. Um, now, concerning this Mayotte volcano, the underwater volcano, uh, this could have uh, been the reason for the last year's November 11th earthquake. According to a statement by the French Geological and Mining Research Bureau, the team discovered a new volcano located 3,500 meters underwater. It's about 10,000 feet underwater. According to the Bureau, the birth of a submarine volcano has been observed for the first time. It's estimated to be 800 meters height and 400 to five, uh, four to five kilometers wide, 
with a two-kilometer-long plume of volcanic fluids emanating from it. So it's got volcanic fluids already coming out. Robin Lacassin from Institut de Physique du Globe de Paris, one of the organizations involved in the mission, shared an acoustic image of the volcano as well as a picture of it on the seafloor. The image uh, shows the uh, water in this new volcano, topography of the volcano. Ro uh, Robin Lacassin tweets, another amazing view in section of the newly discovered active volcano, 50 kilometers offshore from Mayotte, topography of the volcano edifice and the rising fluid column Above it are clearly imaged. Fluid column is about two kilometers in height, but do not reach the surface. So it's just sticking out there. Fantastic results. Scientific study led by IPGP office. A source of prolonged Mayotte earthquakes swarm identified. New active volcano discovered three and a half kilometers below the sea surface, 0 0.8 kilometers height, and four to five kilometers in diameter, fluid release reaches two kilometers above the volcano. Scientists are now processing data they managed to acquire in recent months and trying to access seismic, volcanic, and tsunami risks. But authorities, as well as the scientific community, have yet to understand the exceptional geological phenomenon. Now, National Geographic points out there is still a lot of work to do while the research team has declined to comment, saying that they have a lot to discover, the outlet cites volcanologist Ken Rubin from the University of Hawaii, noting that it is still unclear whether the volcano is completely new or just a new eruption deposit at a pre-existing volcanic structure. Well, there may be uh, a lot of volcanoes that we have yet to discover. We will go into the... Uh, article of this on live science telling us what it is and also the other article having to do with the the uh, submarine mid-atlantic ridge and the tectonic situation how that caused the splitting of the landmass which was once one landmass south america from africa from south africa and it's amazing because it's as you know uh the Pangea theory that they were once all um, one landmass, and obviously the volcanic activity worldwide has caused landmasses to separate. So that will be another upcoming video. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, 
because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.